if you struggle with dry itchy scalp and you have tried everything to get rid of it then you need to watch this video because i definitely do i have very sensitive skin and that includes the skin on my head and around my hair so this video is going to be talking about my steps to reduce itchy dry scalp and what i have found works best for me Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kenna. If you are new here, then welcome. I'm a biochemist, cosmetic formulator, and a digital creator here on YouTube and on Instagram. I post every Monday and Thursday, so definitely hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a video. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about dry skin and scalp, which I think is very, very common. Um, and I'm just gonna give you my tips on how I deal with this because I do on a regular basis have to deal with this. I have very dry skin everywhere and it's just, uh, my scalp is no exception. So right now I'm in a really good place with it and these are a few things that have really helped me out. Um, so number one is going to be an actual anti-dandruff shampoo. Now the Celsius Blue, this is like pretty intense. So I only use this like once a month or like maximum once every two weeks if I feel like I absolutely have to. The active ingredient is Perithith Perithione zinc at 1% and it's just a very kind of basic shampoo formula but what this ingredient does is it deals with the actual like it can be often fungus um, that causes itchy dry scalp so it deals with that and it's very effective so if you're really dealing with uh, hardcore dandruff first dry scalp then definitely this one I never have dandruff but I just have like dry itchy scalp like constantly so this is one that i would use maybe once a month or once every uh, couple of weeks if it's like really bad but generally just like once a month to keep everything at bay next you definitely want to be using like pretty gentle but also very clarifying shampoos so let me explain kind of both of those i don't i don't have to avoid like sulfates or anything but you definitely can if you don't want to be using sulfates uh these two shampoos that i'm going to recommend are sulfate free the first one is from k18 um, and these are the ones that do that peptide a lot of people have talked about their peptide which is actually really nice for your hair but they just launched shampoos and i've been using this um for the past few weeks along with they also have a ph um this is their detox shampoo but they also have like a ph shampoo that's meant for regular use, but this detox one is just really great. It actually has like uh, charcoal in it. It has charcoal powder, so it is like really excellent. And just the surfactants in here are great, but what is also really great is salicylic acid. So it does exfoliate your scalp, which often can be really helpful if you do have dry, itchy scalp. But then it also has panthenol in there, which is both good for your skin and for your hair. So I always look for shampoo and conditioner products that have panthenol in it. The next shampoo that I am gonna recommend is the Odell Ultra Sensitive Shampoo. This one is fragrance free. I do like fragrance in my shampoos and conditioners and stuff, but if you have dry scalp, then generally you do wanna avoid them, but you know, I like them. So this one does have a fragrance in it. This one does not. So this one is again, just a really simple formula. Um, it does have glycerin in there, which is a great humectant for your scalp and for your skin in general. Aloe leaf juice and oat kernel extract are really soothing on your skin um, as well. And yeah, again, just a really simple formula, but these are, these are very like cleansing shampoos as well. They are not just, they're not stripping, but they are very cleansing. So it is good to, if you do have dry scalp, make sure that you're really massaging it into your scalp quite a bit and leaving it on there for a bit of time as well. Like I generally, when I wash my hair, I will leave my shampoo on my head for an extra kind of two minutes while I wash other parts of my body. And then I'll rinse it out just to make sure that it's really cleansed those areas because what I, what I find makes my dry scalp worse actually is when there's a lot of like oil or sweat or buildup in my hair, it gets even worse. So make sure that you are thoroughly cleansing your scalp and using products that have pretty hydrating ingredients in them like glycerin, like panthenol. And if you do need that extra step of like an anti-dandruff shampoo, then go for it. There's nothing wrong with using a head and shoulders every once in a while or just as your standard shampoo. Those products are made for people with itchy scalp and uh, dry scalp and dandruff and everything. So so use them. Next, um, my recommendation is just one product. And I don't use this very often, but if I, let's say I haven't washed my hair in like two days and I'm, I know I'm gonna wash it the next day, then I will put this all over my scalp. I know people use it like all the time. I just find with my very uh, thin hair, like I'm not gonna use it if I wanna have nice, you know, floofy hair because I don't like to put anything on my scalp 
like that but i will use this like before i wash my hair um, generally at night so if you had thicker hair you could probably get away with using this all the time but i just try not to add anything onto my scalp and i just will i'll use like a few drops at bedtime i do like put the drops kind of randomly on my head and then try and massage it in and make sure that your hands are nice and clean when you're doing this you're not introducing any other oils and stuff i have used this throughout the day a couple of times and it didn't make my hair like heavier greasy or anything just my hair naturally can get so weighed down because it is really fine i mean i have a lot of hair but it is fine for sure those are kind of the products that i'm going to talk about now i'm going to talk about not what products not to use and i find what makes my hair so or my head so so itchy and irritated is any kind of lifting mousse so volumizing mousses and stuff i can't use any of them i've tried probably 30 different products i can't use a single one they are so so irritating to my head not only do i get dry scalp and irritation but i also can get like bumps and everything like i'm very sensitive other ones are like dry shampoos like especially the aerosol ones they can make dry skin and scalp so much worse I would say if you are dealing with dry skin and scalp, eliminate all additional products that would touch your scalp. If they're just going on like the ends of your hair, obviously that's going to be fine. But anything that would come into contact with your actual scalp, be it like a volumizing mousse or, you know, a cream or anything like that, just straight up avoid it. Um, even hairsprays, just avoid everything until you've got that dryness um, under control. And as you start introducing those products back in, you can see if any of them are irritating. So just introduce like one at a time, try it for a few days and make sure that it's not irritating your scalp or drying it out or causing any you know, sensitivity or anything. So I found that by eliminating all of like the kind of texturizing products out of my hair care routine, I really helped like with dry scalp and irritation and everything because that was a big factor for me and it was like instant like if i put it on in the morning by nighttime i would have dry skin bumps everything like bad bad reactions so if you're struggling with dry scalp i would look at what you're using in your hair as well and see if you can deal with it that way i know people might be tempted to do like oil put a lot of oil in their hair this is actually something i probably wouldn't recommend so much because we are trying not to clog those pores and keep everything just kind of really nice and clean on our scalp if you do have dry scalp. I mean, everyone's gonna be different, but I would avoid using oils like directly in your hair. Um, I would look for a more kind of hydrating ingredients, like I said before, the panthenol, panthenol, hyaluronic acid, uh, glycerin. I mean, I would say out of any oil, squalane is gonna be the one that you could actually probably use on your hair successfully, but I would just avoid plant oils because they can be commodogenic and ultimately they're not really doing that much they're great on the ends and stuff but they're not going to be doing that much in your actual scalp so something to consider yeah just look at the products that you're using see if it's causing some issues try some different shampoo options conditioner i would avoid also keep, like putting it in your scalp like i only really condition the bottom of my hair i don't condition the top because i find just any extra application of any product onto my hair can cause some issues so if you're dealing with dry scalp, I'm sorry it happens to the best of us, but hopefully these tips will help you out and you can solve this problem. Let me know if you do try any of these out, if it does help you out, and if you have any other recommendations for other people watching this video on what's helped you deal with your dry scalp or in irritation or dandruff, then definitely leave it in the comments below. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, if you're not already, please do subscribe and also follow me on Instagram because I do post there daily, so you'll see a lot more of me, but... Yeah, I'll see you guys again on either Monday or Wednesday or Monday or Thursday, whatever comes next. All right, take care. See you.